tell me about when you first started working here. It was hard because I didn't know any English and uh, it was kind of hard. And you know, first I started like sweeping floors and washing the windows and cleaning fish. That's all I knew, mm -hmm. you know. And it was kind of tough, but uh, I decided to start learning because you know it was very, very hard. How did you learn it? By listening to people, and then I will write it down, and then I will go in the bus like crazy, repeating myself the same word that I heard, and I will go home and ask my brother, "What does this word mean?" So he will tell me. So then the next day. I will learn another word, and that's how I got. So you had to learn English. You also had to learn fish. Oh, the tray? Yes, yeah, sure, absolutely. And tell me, did uh, what in the early days, Robert was still the owner of the right in the very beginning. What did he did he have a? How did he help you in the in the very beginning? By giving me the job. <laughs> well, but I mean, <laughs> but I mean, as far as learning the trade. Well, he first, he, you know, he told me how to play, how to take care, of, how to talk to customers. That's the main thing. You have to know how to treat customers. If you don't know that, forget about it. The place, the business is not going to su succeed. That's all. Say more about that. What do you mean? You mean like succeed? No, more about how to treat the customers, right? Well, yes, because you see, first of all, you have to you have to be nice with them, and treat them, of course, good and. Give them the best uh, service that you can give them, and that's what people like. If you don't have, if you don't get a good service, you're not coming back. You know, and of course, prices and everything. So that's what people like. Now, after after you guys have worked together for so many years since you were 14 years old, mm -hmm. 13, 14, 13, 13 years old. So I I don't even know quite how to ask this. To, Talk to me a little bit about your relationship with Robert. He's not just your boss or your co-worker. And he's not your boss anymore. Right? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm the boss. I'm his boss now. <laughs> now he works for me. Yeah. Uh, well, you see, um, it's like, like, you know, I think we are like a, like a marriage because, you know, one day he can stand me and one day I can stand him, but, you know, we're always here together. That's how marriage is, and that's how we are, too. So what did you say? One day you can't stand him? It's not like you just can't stand him. It's something because you see, like, if you try to... I know that he tries to do the best for me. That I know. But, you know, it's like, if he keeps, you know, like, going and going, like, God, leave me alone for a minute, you know? But then, you know, you just, you have to go back. It's exactly the same. You know, you may be mad with the wife and you leave the house for two, three hours, but you have to come back. So that's the same thing. Exactly the same. Yeah. Does he, does he, uh, does he ever try to sort of uh, needle you a little bit? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Believe it or not, yes. You know, I, I mean, I learned a lot from him. Don't get me wrong. And I always tell, you know, I really appreciate it. Uh, probably I don't know how to show it, but I, I always say, to, to, like to my kids, you know, thank to, to him, we have what we have, you know. It's not much, but that's ours, you know. And so we always appreciate everything. And I know that he doesn't mean to be like, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to say it, but, <laughs> you know, on top of me, but you know, um, he does it for, he knows that it's for my own good. And that I know. And I always appreciate it, but I, I, I never tell him, and, but he knows. He knows. <laughs>